Hey guys and welcome to a soft stone game tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make an acting move using a timeline. Let's get started. I've created a new project with a third person template. Let's go to the content folder. Right click and select blueprint class. The blueprint class we need is an actor. And let's rename this to moving actor and open it up. The only thing we are going to add is a static mesh. So hit add component and search for static mesh. Select the static mesh and let's add a cube. Compile, save and let's go to the event graph. We won't be needing these two, so let's delete them. From the begin play node, drag to the right and add a new timeline. I'm going to rename this to move actor. Double click on the timeline to open it up. Let's add a new flow track and we're going to add three keys. Right click and add key. This one will be set to zero and zero. Now let's create another key. The time will be two and a half seconds. And the value, let's say 500. To make the actor move more, less, faster or slower, you can change these values, just play around with it. If we zoom all the way out, you can see that the second node is all the way up there. Now let's add our last key. Time will be five and value zero because we want it to return to its original position. Compile and save and let's go back to the event graph. Drag the static mesh reference onto the graph and create a new node. Search for set relative location. Connect the update pin to our new node. Right click on the new location and select split pin structure. Drag the float to the X value of the location node. Now it will move on the X axis. To move it up and down, you can use the Z axis. Now our timeline will only run once, so we're going to create a custom event. I'm going to rename this to repeat and connect it to play from start. From the finished pin, drag to the right and search for repeat, our event we've just created. Let's compile and save and go back to the level. Drag our new actor into the level and let's see what it does. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and don't forget to like and subscribe.